two weeks ago was Spencer's birthday, and then we were invited to mom and dad's house to ha- to celebrate Spencer's birthday and have cakes and treats. So when we were there, we were told that there's a squirrel yeah, as trapped. Yes, we walked in. Rebecca was like, "There's something. There's an animal out on the back deck that's trapped." I'm like, "What are you talking about?" And then she took us out to the back deck and pointed at the gutter. And on the gutter at uh, mom and dad's house, they have like a covering Mm -hmm. that keeps out pine straw and leaves that keeps the gutter from getting clogged up. So somehow the squirrel climbed down the downspout and got himself trapped in one of the gutters. So we could hear squeaking. Yeah, the squirrel was making noises and he was like running back and forth. He could hear his feet against the metal and you could tell he was scared. He was scared. He was probably trying to figure out how to get out of the gutter. So we asked Rinda how long has it been? And then they said it's it's been about two hours since they heard the squirrel when they were having that dinner. So we thought like, okay, let's let's have a look like what's what's up with the squirrel in the gutter. We went ahead and and saw that he was really terrified in there. It was supposed to rain that night, like, pretty hard. Mm-hmm. So we wanted to get the squirrel out of there before it rained, so he wouldn't die. Isn't there, like, a tornado warning that night? Yeah, I think there was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So anyways, he needed to get out as soon as possible. So we got a ladder up there, and as soon as we got up there, he, like, freaked out. and Hissed at us. <laughs> yeah, so it was kind of scary. <laughs> and he smelled really bad, too. Oh. Yeah, he smells really bad in there because of the gutter was dirty and then he he was just trapped there and then um Spencer was able to pry the gutter open a little bit and then trying to like encourage the squirrel to like get out, but I think but he wouldn't ever get out. Yeah, he won't. I think he was kind of scared of us. Mhm. But um we thought he was hungry, so we gave him some peanuts, some peanuts. and <laughs> almonds. <laughs> he actually ate a few of them. Yeah, he did. He ate a few. I don't think we have any footage of that, but he must have been pretty hungry. Mm-hmm. As you can see, it's pretty bright. Uh, the reason why we we bring out the uh, spotlight. Yeah, we just used the light. Yeah, you know, the like light. work light. Uh-huh, work light. So we could see him better. He's pretty cute, too. Yeah, look at him. He was all wet and... He looks so sad, cold. You see his wet. His tail is really wet. Mm-hmm. He looks pretty young too. Mm-hmm. I wonder how he, how did he, get to be in there, huh? Yeah, he crawled down that downspout from the level above. Must be uncovered on the upper level. After a while, we decided that he wasn't gonna leave if we were there. So we all went inside. After mm-hmm. uh, it took us a few hours to get to this point to get the cover off and everything Mm -hmm. it was like after uh we were trying to we were trying to get him out of the gutter and but still he was still like trying can't figure it out and we waited and then it was like suddenly there's like a, a light drizzles and we were just like hey we we need to start celebrating your birthday. Yeah, it was like almost 10.30 already. Yeah, it's <laughs> almost 10.30. We were supposed to be there at 7 o'clock to have, to have the cake cheese, and cheesecake. St- cheesecake. Yeah, and then so finally we were just like, okay, let's just go and have cakes and open presents and stuff. And then we'll check over again. And then after all of that, we went out and he's still there. And... W- and then it starts pouring a little bit, and then we try to, as I try to like lift this um pout over there, and then as soon as I lift it, he just like scurry over to the other side, and I can't even oh, see yeah, him that's anymore. Right. So you see the downspout in that picture that was preventing him from going to the other side of the gutter. On that side of the gutter, it's much longer, and there's also another downspout at the end of that gutter. So we didn't want him to continue going over there, but we lifted that up and he got Slipped onto the other over. side and we were afraid that he's going to be stuck there forever now. Yeah. So once he slipped over to the other side, we can't see him anymore. So it was really late into the night. It's almost 11 o'clock at night and we decided to just leave the gutter 
open, wide open, and then hoping that he would come back. Come back, and then when he figures it out in the the next morning or throughout the night, that he will just jump out and stuff like that. And then we just left for the night, and then the next morning, Rinda updated us on the situation where she saw. She saw like a like a small pool of blood on the hand railing on the deck, and we're pretty sure that was him because. In some of the footage, you could see the squirrel like licking part of his paw. Mm -hmm. It looked kind of red. Yeah. So I think he got bloodied up somehow, falling down the the drain pipe. Or we are suspecting something. that he got injured. Yeah. Because there, it's pretty sharp in there. Maybe he was trying to pry it open earlier on. That's why he was struggling a lot and making a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. So that could be it. So we do think he got free and think he's okay. Yeah. So it feels good to be able to rescue a cute little guy like that yeah that's right <laughs> you had a lot of fun seeing the squirrel up close i do i i was so up close and, and then we just like put the camera like really close and i get really like 10 10 inches close to the squirrel right about that yeah like, and you, you especially love animals so that was fun for you to be that close yeah I really love animals. <laughs> well, anyways, we thought we'd share this with you. It was fun for us. It was really fun for us. We are so um, happy that um, the next day that he got out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We love our squirrels in our backyard. Mm -hmm. Mom especially likes watching them run across the deck in the backyard. Mm -hmm. So that was our story, trying to celebrate Spencer's birthday and squirrel rescue at the same night. <laughs> yeah, a little surprise on the birthday. That was fun, right? Yeah, that was fun. Now we're professional squirrel rescuers, so if you have any questions, just let us know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching this video. It was a lot of fun making it. Please be sure to like, and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. That really helps out our channel. Thank you. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. Oh. We have like seventy more. Yeah, That's thank you so much. Thank you so much for subscribing to us and 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 keep supporting us. We appreciate it. And please leave a comment if you have your own personal experience about rescuing animals. Do let us know down below in the comments. <laughs> thank you and have a good one. Bye bye. Bye bye.